Welcome to Thinking Re-Envisioned with your host, Henry G. Noel. I guess you could say he's standing conventional wisdom on its head. Here's Henry. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Transitional Radio, home of Brian Brody's Mortal Up and All Natural Being on Sunday through Thursday from 8 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. IPM Nation Sneak Speaks, Sundays from 7 to 8 o'clock in the evening. And this, our 19th episode of Thinking re My name is Henry Noel, and I am your host. Thinking re we're here to make you think. We're here to make you question. Question everything. I wish to thank you for joining me on this Thursday evening for Thinking re We are you know, where we will be uh, talking about lies, our acceptance of lies and who is really at fault. So we are broadcasting live this evening from our Uplink studio in Cuenca, Ecuador, uh, two degrees uh, south of the equator. And we are actually broadcasting live on ipmnation.com and Thinking re Facebook page this evening. And so this will be perfect. I wish to thank you all all the listeners from all over the globe listening on live radio and those listening to our rebroadcasts and all of you guys that are, are on our fly on the wall video listeners here that on Facebook. So it's great to have you listening and thanks for joining us. Uh, I'd also like to thank our good friends at Wirecast for making all of this possible along with my brother, of course, uh, so we can be actually broadcasting live and globally. So to all of our listeners who wish to participate in this show, email me at henry at henrygenoel.com. It is my wish to present a show where everyone can be as actively involved as they wish. So we trust that you have had an enjoyable Thursday thus far, and I hope that that continues. So let's go ahead and get into the thread, say hi, and see how everybody will address this evening's topic. All right, so let's get into it and see who we've got. So, of course, the reader there, thank you so much. And, of course, my brother wouldn't be here without him. Candace, welcome. Thank you. It's great to see you. Jamie, good to see you. How are you? Alice, hi. How are you this evening? Happy Thursday to you. Uh, let's see. John, welcome. Welcome, John. It's great to see you too. I'm glad you you see your icon pop up. Hope everybody's doing well. So hi to all of you. And uh, it is great to have you here. Uh, yeah, tonight's topic I wanted to talk about, you know, you've heard the old joke, you know, how can you tell a politician is lying and the answer is uh, their lips are moving. Well, you know, have you, ex- you know, we've all, ex- we understand that it goes on all the time, but have we gotten to the point to where we simply accept that as fact now, that that's just it, and that the fact that, that we expect nothing less of people? You know, Winston Churchill had said, there is a terrible lot of lies that are going on out there in the world, and the worst part of it is half of them are true. So... What is it? Is is it is it their fault for lying? Is it everybody's fault for lying, or is it our fault for th- accepting the fact that they lie? And that's really what I wanted to try to go ahead and talk about a little bit tonight, just to see where we are on the sa- if we're on the same page. But I think that that's something that we have uh, come to accept: lying, li- white lies, uh, lying to hurt, not hurt somebody's feelings. I mean, we simply just lie about just about everything. And and we've seemed to accept it. And I think that that's part of the problem that we all deal with. It's part of our problem is lying is not acceptable. And that's what we do. We do it all the time. So that's just wanted you some of your views to see see when you're going on. Uh, Jamie has says uh, when you when you watch the news, you are. Yeah, you're hearing lies. Absolutely right. You know, you hear what they want to to tell you. Rosa, welcome. Buenas noches. And welcome, bienvenido. It's great to see your icon pop up, Rosa. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. But yeah, you know, we hear the 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 the, the lies out of politicians. We hear the lies out of the news agencies. We hear the the lies out of advertising agencies. We hear the lies out of pharmaceutical companies. We hear the lies from lawyers. We hear the we hear lies from everything. And it is so common. We just simply accept it now. 
And that's where I'd love to go is why do we accept it? What is the reason we simply accept it? Alice says, we don't hold their feet to the fire. So I guess it's mainly our fault. And thank you very much, Alice. I appreciate that. Yes, it is. Uh, Because you're right. We don't hold their feet to the fire. We don't make them accountable. We don't hold them responsible. And they get away with it. And just keep looking, you know, look back, look at the look at the lies that go on all the time. Every day, somebody's out there saying something that is absolutely wrong. And uh, we just, you're right, we don't hold their feet apart. We don't make them accountable. They don't seem to lose office because they lie. Interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Janet, welcome. It's great to see your icon pop up. Happy Thursday to you. Hope that you're having a great day. And I hope this continues into the evening. Uh, Jamie says the truth will set you free. John 8.23, that's exactly right. You know, we're so afraid of the truth that the lie seems to be a better way to go. I don't understand that. Uh, I don't really accept that either, but that seems to be the way it is. So it's gotten to the point to where the truth is so unacceptable that we rather hear the lies because we don't do anything about it. We don't vote people out of office. We don't hold them accountable. We don't, you know, catch up to them when they get back into their hometowns, into their constituencies and pound on their door and, and just go ahead and, and question them about the lies that they, they, that they say. We don't do that for politicians. We don't do that about lawyers. We don't do that about anybody. We just simply accept the lies. And I think that that is a sad state of affairs, that we just don't take the responsibility. We don't take the action to correct these things. So that's what we're talking about this evening. So, um, you know, we really do. We have an, an, an amazing capacity for accepting lies. We, we, we really do. This is what we do. And, and you know, to mortal up, uh, to, you know, to bring on your, your, your bold, to, to, to understand and identify and, and, and open your heart to your all natural being, requires us to not be lying, requires us to tell the truth. And so long as we're accepting the lies, we don't ever get to be the bold. We don't get to be all of that. It's just, you know, it's just part of our problems with having thin skins and not being able to handle the pressures or not being able to handle what somebody says to us, um, you know, sticks and stones. But the problem is, is that with, with, with the acceptance of lies, we are opening ourselves for everything else to happen. And that is the dishonesty, that is the mistrust, that is the, the, the fear, that is the, the, the hatred, that is the racism, the discrimination. Without, if, we, if we can't accept the truth and we can accept the lies, or at least willing to accept them without questioning them, we set ourselves up for failure all the way down the line. This is just like a domino thing. You just domino effect. One hits the other and we are just, we never get off this path. We never get this to create our own path. Alice says, we just seem to brush it off as being normal. You know, there you are. We talked about normal the other day and that's, you're, that's exactly right. Uh, Rita says, people ju- just don't seem to care. What can be done about it anyway? Absolutely true. The apathy of it all. It's just, you know, we know they're going to lie, so why, why bother? But yet we listen. <laughs> we still listen to them. Um, let's see. Uh, Candace says, uh, sometimes you have to say, it, sometimes you have to, sad to say, had to tell an elderly woman her electric was, electric was dangerous in her home and to get the care, you know, to get her to care enough for the home because, it, because it's, a, and it's a very bad shape. And, th- and that's, there's, don't feel bad about that, Candace. The, the truth will set you free. The truth is what we need. Um, we, we're too easily accepting lies. Um, it's to the point, it's at the detriment of the truth. And there, there we go. It's, it's really hard. Um, Jamie says, I've uh, learned to, to seek the truth and not rely on one resource. Absolutely. Money and uh, yeah, cover your butt always seems to be the most uh, motive, the most motive uh, for people lying, you know, and that's what it is. The lies that come from the power, the, the money, the, 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 all the authority. And it goes hand in hand. It seems to be the natural way of doing business. So when some, somebody says something, 
it's really hard. Uh, Wayne says in a, a Newsnet, the 24-7 news channel that gets back to the headlines, launches January 1st, 2019. No opinion, talking over one another or screaming, just plain headline news. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. That is news, the 24-7 news channel that gets back to the headlines. I, I love that. That's that's a great way to go. And we'll, hopefully they'll keep that up. That would be really nice. I mean, I, we grew up, I'm sure a lot of you remember the the, the Walter Cronkites and, you know, the, the Chet Huntleys and the people that actually reported news, the writers from the from the Times when it was actually a newspaper and from the Washington Post when it was a newspaper, you know, they no longer exist. Now it's celebrities that simply have an earpiece and are told what to say. They repeat it. They collect a nice huge paycheck and off they go and they do their thing. They don't care if it's right or wrong. They just say it. And that's where we have a problem. So when you have celebrities um, giving you the news or their slant on it, uh, without ever investigating anything. There's no investigative reporting anymore. Um, and again, I, that's probably partly by design. I mean, uh, you know, again, we talked about the, uh, you know, if you go up against uh, uh, government policies, you're cl it's classified as fake news. And that is punishable by, well, under literally under the defense budget, uh, I'm, I'm sure it's through the Patriot Act. And so, you know, you're dealing with things that, that if you go up against something, you held liable for that, um, and so to me, if you if you, if you if you're going to say if you're going to investigate, then you need to investigate, and that's what needs to be available is the investigative reporting. It's just not anymore. Uh, Rita says, "How long do you think uh, New Year's uh, the news net will last? Uh, hopefully, it lasts for a long time. You know, that would be really a great thing to get back to the news." Uh, Janet says, "Yes, for sure. Just because you have money or power doesn't make you." any better or smarter than the rest of us. Glad I was raised to stand strong and don't take any crap from people. Thank you, Janet. Absolutely right. Because it's just because somebody calls themselves a reporter or a, a, a broadcaster or a politician doesn't make them any smarter than anybody else. So it's absolutely true. John, when I need to be, a, uh, when it needs to be about corporate co cooperation, pa compassion and community, of course it does. At, we, that's where we have to get back to, but we can't get there so long as we lie. So long as we allow everyone to lie. Um, you know, that is part of the problem is we've accepted this. The apathy just allows it to go. How can we have cooperation? You know, somebody lied. Where's the trust? So there goes, there goes all the, all the trust, the compassion. We, we, there won't be any because of the lies. Um, Jamie says people are being killed for seeking the truth. Yes, they are. I was afraid to say it really, that is true. But again, the lies create the fear. The lies create all of this other stuff that we are so wrapped up with. Um, uh, it, it's just amazing. You know, I was doing a, a, some writing again. Well, that's what I seem to do most of the time. Uh, and, and coming up with the things uh, dealing with with life in general, you know, and and a large part of that is realizing how few decades we actually are on this planet. We are here for a, a finite period of time, and it's just a few decades. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Why are we wasting our time? Allowing people to place us in a state of fear, allowing people to lie to us, allowing people to create the construct for hate, discrimination, racism. Um, I don't get it. I, uh, we're here for such a short period of time. And when we get it all done and it's all over, what in the world did we accomplish? Nothing, absolutely nothing. We didn't learn a thing by being here. And that's where we have to really under start understanding and start, start taking control of our lives because we have such a short period of time as it is anyway. And now that we're getting older, we have a lot less. So it's it's really, it just doesn't make sense to me why we live the way we do, because it, it it's so against what I believe humans would be about. Uh, Candace says, I think uh, everyone tells little lies and some tell whoppers. And it's absolutely true, Candace. Many people, we all lie, we all do. I mean, we all do. We don't wanna hurt somebody's feelings. Well, what happened to, to Brian's thick skin? Yeah, we're afraid to hurt somebody's feelings. 
you know, if somebody comes up and asks me, and like I said, I mentioned this one of, in one of the other shows. You know, my dad was, used to be, he was brutally honest. I mean, he just simply was honest. And so somebody would come up and ask how they looked. And he'd tell them, you look great. You look really lousy. Uh, he would tell you. Um, you know, I mean, yes, he prefaced it. Everybody knew him, but it was the first thing. You sure you want to hear my opinion? Yeah. Okay. Boom. Well, I, this is, I think you're an idiot. Uh, you know, I mean, sorry. I, he, he would tell you. He didn't hold things back. And that's what we need more of. We need to be told sometimes that we're just way off base, that we're just our thinking is wrong. Um, Rita says, yes, they are, Jamie. You, you, you're not supposed to be smart enough to look at the truth. Exactly. Wayne says they have already signed affiliations across the country. Oh, so this is for the, for the headline news. Great. That is terrific. So they are going to be nationwide. That's great. Uh, John says so many la la layers and and or levels. Uh, the one I, the one one. Let's see. The, the more I learn, the less I know. And that's exactly the way it is, John. That is exactly the way it is. And it's great that you understand that because that is the truth. Uh, Janet says, I believe there's a difference between a non-truth to protect someone and a downright lie that a uh, liar that does it to help themselves or hurt someone. And they are awful to people do, um, uh, doing that to others. And, you know, and Janet, I understand that you, that thinking and I understand that comment because because you're right, the, you know, to step up and and. You know, somebody says, ask you, well, again, it, it's all predicate case. Somebody doesn't really look really good or they, they're really messed. I'm not going to say anything to them, but if they come up and ask my, my opinion, I am going to tell them the truth. And the reason I'm going to tell them the truth is so that they understand what the truth is. And then they can go ahead, at least in my, my view as, as the way I'm seeing things. So I don't have any problems telling people the truth. I'm not going to sit here and give little white lies because little white lies tend to lead us down the road to bigger white lies that end up going into even bigger white lies. And then now we're downright lying. And so there, then there goes the, the, there goes the truth. And so that's really what the problem is. Matt, welcome, welcome, welcome. Matt, great to see your icon pop up. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. And I appreciate IPM Nation. I really do enjoy it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Brian, go get him, brother. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yep. Turn me loose and I'm going to lay it out there. So, you know, that is the issues. If we, if we can accept the little white lie, well, then we can accept a little bit bigger lie. And if we can accept that, I think we've already shown we accept the great big lies um, because that's the progression of how things are. When you first start off, you know, in living this life, you know, you, we don't do this. We don't. We don't really want the lies. We really want to be, you know, we want to know the facts and know the truth. So we, so, and we're told that. Then as we start to grow up, we start getting these little lies. And then we become a little bit immune to them. We get thicker skinned in that, that we don't understand or we just don't worry about it. Then all of a sudden the lies aren't even important anymore. And then we get the big lies. And of course, the first, when we first hear the big lies, we argue about that and we'll make our statement known. Hey, wait a minute, that's just a downright lie. After you hear it a few times, you just stop arguing. It just goes away. And, uh, and I think that's part of the problem. That's part of what we do. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, Lucille is on. Thank you very much. I appreciate you for, for joining us. Thank you. Uh, Candace says it's in the eye. Entrance to your soul. Absolutely right, Candace. And, but we don't take time to look at people in the eyes. And that is the other issue. You know, nor will we confront them. And that is another part of the thing, the fear of confrontation. You know, so, so you, you're talking to a, a friend who, who, you know, you, you, they, you, they've done something wrong, absolutely deny that they've done anything wrong, and they, they'll lie right to your face. And so friends, where do we start to draw the line? I mean, people allow... That's our responsibility to stop that. It's ours to not accept that anymore. And sometimes it's hard to make those kind of decisions. But if I can't trust somebody, I'm not going to hang around with them. I mean, I, I, it's, that's illogical. Why place myself in a position with a 50-year friend and they do something that destroys that trust or they've been doing things, small things, lying along the way, 
or spewing out their the venom that they 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 believe. I'm I'm not. I'll destroy that friendship. I won't. I won't sit there and, and accept that because it's that's not the way we're supposed to be. We simply find excuses to not hurt somebody's feelings or not for us to not get hurt. And I think that that's wrong. I think we really need to do the right things, and that would and lying is one of them. I mean, again, if if part of this whole cycle, this whole process of being able to change to understand better about the world and where it's going in. Honesty comes on number one on that list. Where is accepting someone's lies? Being honest. We're sure not being honest to them. We certainly aren't being honest to ourselves. And we actually matter. So these things walk hand in hand with each other. And like I say, they're so interwoven with each other that they, they create the fabric of our lives. So why would we accept this a lie if our whole objective is to be honest it's I, I it's it's almost condescending so we can't be honest if we're accepting lies if we can't be honest then odds are we're not eliminating the fear and odds are we're not eliminating the hate and the odds are we're not eliminating the racism and the 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 the, the uh, all that all of the discontent, uh, the discrimination, all of the things that we need to work on as humans, all the things that we need to do to make our life enjoyable, stripping away all of these shrouds of unhappiness. We're never going to do that if we can't be honest. So. This is where I'm coming from. This is where I'm trying to go with a lot of this, is that we are we're shooting ourselves in the foot. We are defeating our whole purpose. We want to change. We want to see the world to be more love in the world. We want to see the world to be happier. How the heck can we have that if we are not telling the truth? If we're not being honest? We can't have that. It's impossible to have that. So food for thought something to ponder. And, and like I said, and if you have questions about this stuff, write me. I'll be more than happy to, to, to reply to you. Send up for all the people on Facebook, send me an instant message. Those out there in the radio and send me an email. That's, I have no problem with that. But that's where I'm at with this. If we don't stop the lies ourselves, number one, we don't stop accepting the lies from others, and number two, there's no way we can be honest. And the worst thing we're doing is we taught this to our own kids. And they do it too. Um, that's the biggest travesty. And then we do it in front of our grandkids. No, see, it's, it's got to stop someplace. And if we don't draw the line, then we're shame on us because we're the ones that, that we can control that. We change, we change the world. But if we're not willing to change, Nothing's going to change. It all starts with us. Uh, Rita says there's nothing worse than a liar and a thief. And I have to agree, Rita, that's it. If, if somebody doesn't have enough guts to tell me the truth, why do I need them? Huh. I don't. Uh, Candace says that's, that's why I love animals so much. They don't do any of that but love. You know, and I, Candace, again, I will not disagree with you. I think it's absolutely true. The problem is we do deal with other humans and we have got to stand up for ourselves and stand up for what's right. Bottom line, we have to do that. If we don't, no one else will. That's the way you have to look at it. And, and yet I find the, the, the comfort with animals is great because yes, they, they sit there and you know how they feel. You know, they're not going to lie to you. And why should we accept? We're not going to accept it from an animal then why in hell would we accept it from another human? Sorry. I, I, I don't get that. I just don't get it. Kenneth, welcome. for Thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you so much, Kenneth. Sorry, we're down to our last four minutes, I think. So, uh, um, so but I'm so glad to see that you, you came on. Thank you, Kenneth. Great to see you. Great to see you. Great to see you. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. But yeah, we're talking about lying and uh, how it is so wrong because it leads from 
it leads to, well, us lying, number one, but then accepting people, other people's lies. There's the other part of it because it destroys honesty and it destroys trust. And if we can't deal with that, if that's, if that's something we can't handle, then we need to not be criticizing anybody else. Like Candace says, wow, just think about, uh, about it. We're worse than, yes, absolutely we're worse than creatures. You know, that is the whole problem. Um, you're very welcome, Kenneth. I really am thrilled that you joined us. Thank you. You know, that's it, Candace, because you, we don't realize what we give up. We're dealing with other people who just outright lie to us. They, you know, we call ourselves intelligent. We call ourselves compassionate. We call ourselves wanting love. Really? I, I really? I don't buy that at all. So thank you. Up, oh, Bing, Bing signal. Two fingers we got come. So two more minutes. Um, so I, again, I just I want you to ponder it. I want you to think about it because to me it's extremely important. We have to draw a line. We have to start someplace. And if the objective to tuning in and to listening is to come up with some understanding as to why this is such a mess that it is and what can be done to correct it, we got to look in the mirror, man. The fingers all point right back at us. And that's the, the thing. I can point my finger at you, but I've got these three pointing right back at me and my thumb. So, and if you do that to you in the mirror, you got everything pointing right back at you. So we are the ones in control of all of this. It's we simply want to avoid the control. We don't want the responsibility. And that's part of the major issue that we have. John says, we can't even trust your own families, let alone the rest of society. Absolutely true. I know one more minute, bro. I know. Um, so we have, uh, so you know, you're right. And that, that's part of the problem, John. It's, 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 okay, thank you. We've got a half a minute. <laughs> all righty. Everybody, I want to thank you all. Um, Rita says, if someone lies, to you there sure goes the trust and then respect there's not much left and we have to be human enough to stand up and say sorry you lied to me uh, we're done uh, you know think about what you just did we we have to start drawing the line in the sand start hurting but anyway again this is thursday evening thank you we will be back on sunday evening at the same time uh don't forget uh uh ipm nations um sneak speak it's it's uh, at seven o'clock brian will come on at eight and then i'll be on at 8 30 so everybody will see you on sunday having a great 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 rest of this week and a great weekend okay hasta luego we'll see you on sunday thank you so much